Okay, so today we're looking at the Coffee Gator, and this is a semi-auto espresso maker. We're going to be walking through this, checking out all the pieces and components, and really talking about what it does. Now, this can brew espresso using fine ground, so you get the perfect espresso. All right, it has up to one point liter water vessel. Ultra fast warm time. Now, that's gr really great because for espressos, you want that temperature to be perfect, or else it doesn't get the that creamy top that everybody loves and knows. Um, and just a really simple machine. So let's go ahead and unbox this and take a look at how big it is and what components come with it. They have a little manual there of some sort. And then let's just, I think this has to be a, a bottom out unbox. There we go. Pull that out like this. Oh, look at that. All right, so we have our plug-in in the back. We have a coffee scoop. And then, of course, some pieces there we're not going to need. Now let's pull out this plastic. i got to flip this back around. Oh, it's a nice black design. I'm so used to espresso makers always being chrome that uh, it's nice to have a, a slightly different colorway with it. It does have a bit of a chrome face, though. Um, so it is just kind of like a cheap plastic all the way around. Nothing too special. We have our, this is so we can make espresso. So this is probably the two espresso uh, canister. It does have one here. It has different sizes. So depending on what you're making, how many shots of espresso. Actually, that looks like that might be a triple almost. We have some different attachments here that you may or may not want to use. And then, of course, your coffee scoop here with a tamper. So that's going to help you tamp down your espresso. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is the machine. Now, it does come with just some tape around it, which is to help hold everything down so it's not moving around. Um, in the back here, we have our, us, our water vessel, our water canister. Now, again, this is about 1.4 liters, I think the total was. So that's going to last you quite a while. You can see that nice big canister has a great little hook there. And then you'll just go and put it right back in place and lock it when you're ready to use it. At the front here, you have just a few touch controls. Now this doesn't have a frother from what I see, so you don't actually get that with it. Oh, it does right here. So it does have a little milk frother right here that we can move in or out. And then this tray here at the bottom is just gonna be removable because as you're gonna make espresso, etc., and it's cleaning itself out, or the foam, that's gonna fill up and you just wanna clean that out from time to time. Um, so you have all the accessories you need. This top is going to be a warmer pad for your little espresso cups. And then on the side, you just have this dial. Now, this milk frother is a little small and in a bit of an awkward position. So depending on your canister, it's going to be a little weird to use this. But at least it comes with it, and you're able to customize it on the side. So the outside's a little cheaper than I expected in terms of the plastic. But overall, it looks like a nice, basic, um, good starter espresso ma machine for people that want to get into making espressos and fancy lattes with that. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.